Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Here we can see our addressing table and uh, here we can see the VLANs and the port assignments table. Uh, we have uh, a different VLAN number 15, 30, 45 and 60 and uh, these uh, VLANs are assigned to the different uh, ports. We will go through the scenario they are given here. In this activity, includes so many of the skills that you have acquired during your CCNA studies. First, we will complete the documentation for the network. Make sure uh, we have a printed version of the instructions. During the implementation, uh, we will configure VLANs, trunking, port security and SSH, remote access on a switch. Then we will implement inter-VLAN routing and NAT on a router. Finally, we will use our documentation to verify uh, our implementation by testing end-to-end -end connectivity. We will come to the documentation. Uh, you are required to fully document the network. We will need a printout of this instruction set uh, which will include an unlabeled topology diagram. Right, anyway, we are going to use this soft copy. Label all the devices, uh, device names network addresses and other important information that packet tracer generated. Complete the addressing table and VLANs and port assignments table. Fill in any blanks in the implementation and verification steps. The information is supplied when you launch the packet tracer activity. Now we will come to uh, implementation. Uh, they are given a note here. All devices in the topology except central and uh, we can see cnt-sw this is central switch and net admin are fully configured you do not have access to other routers you can access all the servers and pcs for testing purposes so implement to following requirements uh, using our documentation yes so in this uh, packet tracer we have to configure only these three devices central the switch and this uh, net admin pc all other uh, devices are uh, configured first of all we are going to configure our central switch uh, configure remote management access including ip addressing and ssh domain is cisco.com enable secret cisco en pass and uh, username is hq admin with the password cisco class crypto key length of uh, 1024 SSH version is 2 limited to 2 authentication attempts and a 60 second timeout and the plain text password should be encrypted right so we will do all these uh, on our central switch coming to our central switch right enable we will go to configure terminal and we will set the IP domain name as cisco.com right now we will give crypto key gen rsa and we will give the value 1024 right now we will enable secret as specified cisco en pass now we will create the username as a hq admin and uh, password we will check the password here yes it's a cisco class right cisco class and uh, now we will give a service password encryption so that all the password will be encrypted now we will give ip ssh version 2 and our IP SSH authentication uh, retries uh, 2 yes then we will give IP SSH time timeout 60 then we will give a line VTY from 0 to 15 login uh, local transport input ssh yes 
now we will configure uh, the management uh, VLAN here we can see that uh, VLAN number 60 is uh, for management and we have to set the IP address here we can see that VLAN 60 we have to set the IP address 172.16.15.10 and uh, we must set the subnet to mask and default gateway so here the default gateway for this uh, VLAN 60 uh, we can check the sub interface of uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 0.60 yes so this will be the default gateway for our switch and here we can see the subnet to mask right so we will configure this now coming to our central switch cli right enable so password cisco n pass yes so now we will go to configure terminal and we will go to the interface so VLAN 60 right now we will set the IP address for this uh, VLAN 60 management right here is our address and uh, submit to mask is 255.255.255.248 yes and now we will give the no shot command also we will uh, set the uh, default gateway so we have ip default gateway so that is so here itself we have it's a 172.16.15.9 we have seen that on a sub interface yes next is uh, configure name and assign vlans ports should be manually configured as access ports and configure trunking right we will uh, we will do these two before coming to the configuration here we can see vlans and port assignments table so here we have uh, 15 vlan number 15 for servers 30 pcs 45 name is native and 60 is for management and here we can see the port assignment uh, 15 uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 11 till 20 and for uh, vlan 30 0 slash 1 uh, till at 0 slash 10 and 45 is for gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so we can do this configuration now coming to our central switch right so we'll exit from your oops okay we'll uh, go to configure terminal and we will create the vlan 15 and we will name it as the servers now we will create the vlan 30 and uh, name as uh, pcs right and now we'll create a vlan we have 45 right and we'll give the name as a native we have vlan 60 yes and name as a management right now we will assign the vlan uh, to the ports yes so we will exit from here and we will go to the interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 till 10 according to our uh, vlan table so we are going to make a switch port modus access and the switch port access vlan 30. next we will go to the interface or range fast ethernet 0 slash 11 till 20 and here we will make the switch port uh, modus access and the switch port access uh, VLAN 15. Now we will go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. So interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and this switch port uh, mode we are going to make as a trunk. Now we are going to set the native VLAN uh, switch port trunk native VLAN 45 yes next is uh, implement port security right on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 allow two mac addresses that are automatically added to the configuration file when detected the port should not be disabled but a syslog message should be captured if a violation occurs yes we will uh, set this uh, port security now as they specified we are going to uh, set the port security for the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so we have to go to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we are going to create switch port uh, port security right 
now we will uh, create switch port port security here is uh, port security maximum 2 yes then uh, switch port port security mac address uh, sticky and uh, violation we have to create switch port port security violation so restrict exactly now we will come to the last point here uh, disable all other unused ports yes here in this uh, vlans and port assignment so here itself we can see the ports used uh, we used till fast ethernet 0 slash 20 so from a uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 21 till 24 and also we can see uh, the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 is unused so we are going to shut down these interfaces coming to the configuration so we will go to the interface as a range uh, interface range fast ethernet 0 slash uh, 21 till 24 also we have a, a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 we will give a shutdown command here yes now we will come to uh, the next device configuration that is a central here we can see that central router yes so configure inter vlan routing yes so coming to the uh, addressing table here we can see a sub interface and their ip address and subnet mask so we have to create all these uh, sub interfaces and their uh, addresses and subnet mask right we will do this now coming to central yes cli right enable configure terminal first of all we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and to bring this interface up using no shut command yes now we will go to the sub interface interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 15 yes so here we will give encapsulation dot 1q15 and now we will set the ip address here we can see the IP address yes so I will copy this address so it will be easy right we'll paste it here and here is the subnet to mask right so we'll paste it here yes now we will go to the next uh, sub interface uh, so that is uh, uh, interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 30 right so here we are going to give a encapsulation dot 1q30 and now we will set the ip address so here is the ip address for this and now we will get the uh, subnet to mask here we can see the int sub interface and uh, the subnet to mask is here right yes now we will come to the next sub interface uh, interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 45 and here we will give encapsulation dot 1q45 it's native yes and here we are going to set the IP address and here is the subnet to mask yes we will copy this uh, subnet to mask yes now we will come to the next sub interface so we can go directly from here itself interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 60 yes now we will uh, give encapsulation dot 1q60 and we will assign the IP address yes here it is so now we will get the uh, subnet to mask here we can see that yes paste it here and we will press enter next is uh, configure DHCP services for VLAN 30 yes this is for VLAN 30 uh, use a LAN as the as the case sensitive name for the pool 
right so we will come to uh, vlan 30 here we can see that to vlan 30 so in this uh, range we have to set the uh, dhcp so uh, here we can see the address 172.16.15.33 this is assigned for this uh, sub interface for this device central so we can exclude this address in our dhcp right so obviously uh, for the dhcp uh, the network address will be 172.16.15.32 and uh, here we can see the submit task will be 255.255.255.224 and uh, the default router will be uh, this sub interface ip address that is 172.16.15.33 so we will uh, configure this on uh, central now coming to the configuration right configure terminal and here we'll give a dhcp we will exclude the address so here i am oops so here we'll copy that here we have yes coming to our configuration right so here we are going to exclude this uh, address uh, this is the uh, default router address right now we will uh, set the uh, IP DHCP pool name as LAN yes now we are going to create the network yes we are going to copy that address here it's 32 this is the network address and network mask is 255.255.255.224 and now we will set the default router that already we copied it's 172.16.15.33 yes now we will come to the next configuration implement routing so use rip version 2 Configure one network statement for the entire 172.16.15.0 slash 24 address space. Then disable interfaces that should not send rip version 2 messages. And configure a default route to the internet. So here we can see that coming to the topology. Uh, here we can see the internet. So here the interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 can be set as a passive interface and we have uh, the gigabit Ethernet interface. We have around uh, 4 or 5 sub interfaces. So we will configure all this as a passive interface. Right. So we will come to the configuration now. Coming to the configuration we will exit from here and now we will give router rip and the version is 2 we will give no auto summary and we will set the network as uh, given in the activity it's 172.16.15.0 right now we will set the passive interfaces so we have a passive interface a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 15 and we have passive interfaces a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 0.30 and we have uh, 45 then we have uh, 60 here yes now we will go to the serial interface passive serial interface 0 slash 1 slash 0 which is going to the internet exactly now we are going to set the default route to the internet so here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 leads to the internet right so we will set that so we will exit from here and here we are going to give ip root 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 space 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and the interface is serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 yes now we will come to the next configuration implement NAT configure a standard one statement ACL number one all IP addresses belonging to the 172.16.15.0 slash 24 address space are allowed right we will do this first coming to the configuration so here we are going to give access list the number is one we are going to permit uh, the specified IP address here we can see that 172.16.15.0 and here we are going to give the wildcard bits so they specified uh, 
slash 24 so the wildcard bits is a 0 0.0.0.255 .0 .0 yes next is so refer to your documentation and configure static NAT for the file server okay come into the topology here we can see the inside address 172.16.15.18 and the outside address is uh, uh, 209.165.200.227 yes using this address we are going to create this now coming to the central router right here we are going to give IP NAT inside the source static now we are going to give the here we can see that inside address it's a 172.16.15.18 right and next is inside global IP address so here we can see outside it's a 209.165.200.227 and here we can see uh, next is configure dynamic NAT with the pad using a pool name of your choice uh, a slash 30 mask and these two public addresses so here they given the address 209.165.200.225 and 209.165.200.226 right so we will do this now coming to the configuration IP NAT pool we will uh, set a name for this uh, as uh, test and the given address uh, is your and we have to give the end IP address so it's we will check it here 226 right so the next address and uh, next is a net to mask as a specified a slash uh, 30 mask so that is a 255.255.255.255 252 yes now we will give IP NAT inside source a list to one pool test overload yes one thing we forget to give uh, that is the IP NAT inside or outside for the interface so we will uh, give that interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 0.15 so here IP NAT inside and we will give for the uh, interface uh, 0 0.30 sub interface IP NAT inside then we have to give for the serial interface so we have to go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP NAT inside and we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 so also IP NAT inside and now we have to go to the interface which is uh, going to the internet that is uh, uh, interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 here the IP NAT outside yes now we will come to the next uh, net admin Verify net admin has received a full addressing information from central. Right. So here is our net admin. Desktop IP configuration. Here we'll give DHCP and requesting for IP address. Yes, here we can see that. 172.16.15.34 and here we can see the details. Yes. Next is verification. All devices should now be able to ping all other devices if not troubleshoot your configurations to isolate and solve problems a few tests include verify remote access to central switch by using ssh from a pc verify vlans are assigned to appropriate ports and port security is in force verify a complete routing table verify NAT translations and statistics then outside host should be able to access file server at the public address inside the PC should be able to access web server right document any problems you encountered and the solutions in the troubleshooting documentation table below right so we will do this verification first first of all we will verify uh, the remote access to this uh, uh, central switch uh, using SSH 
right so we will come to this pc and a west so before that we will get the ip address of our switch here we can see that i'm going to copy this address yes desktop command prompt here we are going to give sss ssh right so we have to give ssh space minus l then the username is hq admin and uh, the target is uh, our switch address yes it's prompted for the uh, password so the password given here we can see that cisco class we are going to give that cisco class yes we able to uh, log in remotely in this uh, switch yes now we will try to access this uh, file server using this address 209.165.200.227 right we will try from this uh, uh, na west command prompt right so we'll exit from here and here we are going to give ftp and uh, that file server address yes yes it's prompted for the username we will give the default one that's a cisco password is cisco right yes it's working now we will try to access this web server using this address 64.100.150.10 right we will uh, try from this uh, na east web browser and here we are going to give that address 64.100.150.10 and we are going to press go yes welcome to web server yes so that's all in this packet tracer activity uh, in this uh, activity we have seen how to configure vlans chunking port security or even we have seen ssh remote access as access then we implemented inter vlan routing and uh, nat on a router also and finally we uh, tested end-to-end -end connectivity also and when we open this packet tracer activity here we can see we may get uh, different username and passwords or even different addresses so according to the instructions according to the addressing table uh, we must configure our uh, packet tracer friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you